My name is Jess Tucker, and I do all of the shoreside operations for the G Expedition. So what makes our region, I would say, very special is we are operating in some of the most remote, harsh regions of the planet. We take passengers on life-changing experiences to visit um, the unknown. So um, lots of wildlife, um, ice, glaciers. It's quite an interesting region because nobody actually owns the lands of Antarctica as it's all protected under the Antarctic Treaty. Most of our Antarctica trips will head off from Ushuaia, Argentina. Uh, this area is called Tierra del Fuego. It's known as the southernmost city in the world. We will do a crossing across the Drake Passage. Typically on average, it takes about two days. Most of the days, you're actually going to experience very mild winter weather. Um, you're going to have a lot of sunshine. Um, we are visiting during the Southern Hemisphere's summer season, so the days are very long. Um, you're probably looking at the sun not setting most days until 10 or 11 o'clock at night. Seeing wildlife is probably a very big question that people have. In terms of penguins, Gen 2s are probably going to be the most common. Uh, chin straps, and rock hoppers and different seals. You'll see Waddell's fur seals and of course the leopard seal. They do have predatory habits that make um, watching it from the zodiac a very exciting experience. We're not allowed to touch the wildlife, but sometimes the penguins, especially the young ones, um, feel very confident and they'll come up and they might even come and poke at your boots. Whales, quite a few humpbacks, minke, um, and if you're really lucky, you might spot some orcas. They take you Zodiac cruising sometimes. So the Zodiacs are our small vessels that uh, guests take from ship to shore. So it's a great experience where um, they'll actually take you out exploring and looking for whales and different wildlife uh, in the Zodiacs. And if they ever have an opportunity and you're amongst the ice brush, they'll cut the engine, the pure silence, but then all of a sudden the you'll, you'll hear snap, crackle and pop from the ice and it's it's continuously interacting with the water as it melts. If they get the opportunity to visit Port Lockroy, um, there's actually a post office. So um, guests will actually have the opportunity to um, buy a stamp and mail off a letter or a postcard uh, from this region. We do our very best in each voyage, if we can, to stop at Deception Island. The water is just a touch warmer um, because of its volcanic activity. If guests come ashore there, then we like to do our polar plunge, make sure they have their bathing suits kind of underneath all of their gear. Um, and then everybody will get an opportunity to run into uh, the waters of Antarctica. It's like nothing you've ever been able to experience anywhere else on earth. There's so much to see. Uh, it's not just wildlife. It's experiencing um, uh, ice and glaciers in a way that you'd never imagine. Um, a very popular activity is our sea kayaking program. You get very up close and personal with the water and the environment that way. And um, you really even get some really um, unique wildlife experiences from the kayak. Another great activity is our Antarctica camping where one time per cruise, guests will be able to sign up to go and camp on the Antarctic Peninsula. Let me tell you about our ship. So the G Expedition is a 134 passenger um, ice class polar vessel. We have a fabulous dining room, the Albatross dining room. Um, it is big enough to hold all of our passengers in one sitting and they are able to uh, cater to uh, different dietary requests. We have a polar bear pub aboard. This is a great place for guests to go relax and we do have a musician aboard. We bring uh, marine biologists, ornithologists, which are bird specialists, geologists, and they actually provide uh, educational lectures to the guests aboard the vessel. It becomes a really engaging uh, experience. Once you come on, people immediately feel very comfortable. And I would say that our staff and crew very much create that environment as well. They're always available and, and uh, to answer any questions that you might have that might arise throughout your voyage. And then on top of that, the environment sells itself um, but what you take away from G Adventures, I think, is the mix of fun, education, and I think it'll just be an experience you'll never forget.